The, the topic is uh, the reunification of the South after the Civil War or Reconstruction. And of course, we're talking to the professor of history at Fish University, Dr. Revis Mitchell. And of course, Dr. Mitchell, uh, we promised that during the second segment, we would allow you to uh, talk about African-American political participation right. uh, during this period and how uh, Africans became involved in the whole political process and uh, the influence right. of their involvement during the time. Well, the, the beginning is the 13th Amendment, which mm -hmm. frees the slaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the sort of misnomers of history, mm -hmm. Lincoln issued a proclamation of emancipation, but it really freed no slaves. Mm -hmm. The proclamation was aimed at those southern states. It was a more war measure. It said if they didn't cease fighting, their slaves would be free. But none of the South coalesced to his demands. Mm -hmm. So slavery continued to the end of the war. It was an act of Congress, the 13th Amendment, which freed the slaves. Again, it's the radical Republicans. Mm -hmm. And uh, as wonderful an act as freeing slaves was, it was also a way of saying to the South that these people who you've held, these people who much of your economy mm -hmm is based upon, and slavery was an economic activity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are now free. Mm -hmm. The 14th Amendment will make them citizens of the United States, mm -hmm. and then amendments follow the 15th and whatever, mm -hmm. and they're given the vote. Mm -hmm. Again, as, as wonderful as the act was, as marvelous as it was, mm -hmm. it's also a continuation of that struggle between the North and the South. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, this Congress, still seen as Northern because the Southern states have been reconstructed, goes in and provides the vote. It puts together a whole new electorate in the South, mm -hmm. uh, a large population, which for a brief period of time, mm -hmm. the late 1860s, will control the Southern vote. Mm -hmm. So once you have Reconstruction and blacks are allowed to vote, uh, the Dunning School of Historians, we may yeah. mm -hmm. they describe <clears throat> it as black Reconstruction. Very good. The, the blackness is the fact that some few blacks hold office, mm -hmm. never a majority. One interesting political point, though, once black people have the vote, once mm -hmm. those former slaves and many of those free blacks who were never slaves have the vote, mm -hmm. they aren't terribly punitive. Mm -hmm. We don't find during black reconstruction blacks demanding mm -hmm. any punishment of the South. The Federal Congress mm -hmm. would, would uh, disenfranchise those Confederate leaders who were wealthy, those who were leaders in the Southern governments, they would be in prison. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't acts of black legislatures. Mm -hmm. it would, in fact, throughout the South, during Black Reconstruction, you really find a time when black members of state mm -hmm. legislatures, uh, black members of city councils and yeah. all, mm -hmm. will reestablish and rebuild the South. Mm -hmm. In Tennessee, for example, mm -hmm. the Tennessee legislature, once blacks are a member of it, Samuel McElwee mm -hmm. will propose public education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had never had public education in the South prior to the Civil War. Mm -hmm. It's during Black Reconstruction. Mm -hmm public education for all groups mm -hmm. in the South. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly this meant for the former slaves a chance, the greatest chance for education. Mm -hmm. uh, when blacks vote uh, at national elections, they will send two senators. Mm -hmm. And it was only during this political time that we will have two black members of the Senate, mm -hmm. uh, Hiram Revels and Blanche mm -hmm. Kelso mm -hmm. Bruce, mm -hmm. out of Mississippi. And again, they put forth very progressive legislation. It's under Kelso Bruce that we see the establishment of public education and public colleges mm -hmm. in Mississippi. The University of Mississippi is strengthened, but there's also the creation of Alcorn, mm -hmm. AME, and there's also the creation of colleges for African Americans. We see schools and hospitals. So during this period, even though there's chaos, we find valuable assistance by mm -hmm. African Americans to the American dream. Mm -hmm. The question is, though, still at the national level. Many in the South are upset they are chagrined. There's still the struggle. The, the question of why black reconstruction was so disfavored in the South, mm -hmm. because again, it took this electorate and it empowered them. It gave them control. Mm -hmm. When Andrew, after Lincoln's unfortunate assassination, mm -hmm. a second president, Andrew Johnson, mm -hmm. from Tennessee, comes to power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andrew Johnson also is no friend of the African American. He's not pro uh, support for African Americans. He is pro, however, mm -hmm. in supporting the Northern pro Union. Union. He's mm -hmm. pro-Union, mm -hmm. which is not synonymous with being pro-African-American. Mm -hmm. Andrew Johnson once stated he wished he could relieve the drudgery of every white family by providing them with free Good. slaves. Mm -hmm. So that's not a man who's pro-African-American. <laughs> but he is pro-Union. Mm -hmm. He follows Lincoln's situation. He follows Lincoln's demand. Mm -hmm. So while Reconstruction is going on, mm -hmm. the political battles continue mm -hmm. between those who want to see the Union reunited, but also those who want to punish the South. Mm -hmm. The biggest struggle develops within the Republican Party, mm -hmm. the radical liberal wing. Mm -hmm. 
And what they're most radical about is the treatment of the South. Mm -hmm. In this, though, the, the, the nation moves for 20 years, and there's a struggle. Mm -hmm. Eventually, there'll be a compromise. Mm -hmm. Politically, the compromise will be the removal of federal troops from the South. Mm -hmm. The Union is reunited, mm -hmm. but the African-American vote is mm -hmm. gradually disappeared. Mm -hmm. New legislatures begin to put in new rules. There are no troops left in the South mm -hmm. to make sure that African-Americans mm -hmm. can vote. Intimidation becomes a part of the political mm -hmm. process. Vote, voters are intimidated. Voters are outright not allowed to vote. Voting precincts, are, voting records yeah, are mm -hmm. not kept. Votes are cast out, cast in African-American mm -hmm. precincts, and eventually the great hope of the Civil War mm -hmm. diminishes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so uh, when you talk about the uh, uh, military rule of the South, explain that, because I think what you're saying here is that for a time, the, um, after the war, that the military, the, the uh, national military, That's right. actually controls and rules. Talk about they this. They the Occupy the South. Now, what are you saying? Here there? in Tennessee, mm -hmm. the general in charge was Clinton B. Fisk. Mm -hmm. Consequently, when a school is open, it's named John General. But they occupy the South. Mm -hmm. They treat it as conquered territory. Mm -hmm. Southerners are treated as those who were defeated in war. Mm -hmm. The great irony is, is that the two national leaders, Lincoln and Johnson, mm. didn't want to <laughs> alienate Southern voters. Mm -hmm. They hoped for reunion, but you couldn't have that. Mm -hmm. So the main point that Southern leaders want in this period of Reconstruction, mm -hmm. the first most visible sign of reunion they mm -hmm. want is the removal of federal troops. Mm -hmm. But once those troops are removed, who is going to protect the mm -hmm. former slaves? Mm -hmm. now, 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 did these troops uh, actually protect uh, b uh, the slaves while they were there? I mean, what was the relationship between They protected the, the federal government's uh, interest. Mm -hmm. Many of them oversaw the construction of railroads. Mm -hmm. Consequently, here in Nashville, you have a Union station built by the Union, Union Army. Mm -hmm. One of the desires of the Army was to relocate the railroads so the South could be brought back into business mm -hmm. and businesses. And there was a great amount of money in rebuilding the South. Mm -hmm. Important northern companies mm -hmm. make that money. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, some scholars point out that the African American is compromised by the rebuilding of the South. Mm -hmm. The North and the South come together again on economic interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this, this, this was really a critical period. Now, we often talk about critical periods in American history, but this was really a critical period that uh, finally introduced uh, the African American into the politics oh, of and, the and South. Oh, and the period after Reconstruction mm -hmm. is constantly referred to as the development of the New South. Mm -hmm. We need to look at what's really so new mm -hmm. about this South. Okay, very good. And of course, let us take this uh, second commercial break, uh, Dr. Mitchell, and we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short short commercial break. The topic is the region.